hello guys in this video i'm going to quickly show you how to resolve this warning that you see on the screen right here i'm basically trying to install visual studio code on my macbook pro and then i get this warning that this app cannot be opened on my macbook pro because apple is not able to actually check if it is a malicious software and the reason why we are saying this is because we have security and privacy control enabled. There are a couple of ways that we can actually resolve this. We can resolve it on a case-to-case -case basis, which means that when you want to install any software, you can decide to go to security and privacy and then just turn it off for that specific software. And we can do that basically by going to our preferences you can go to system preferences and then go on the security and privacy so once i open that it's going to detect that i'm actually trying to install visual studio code it's telling me to actually go ahead and open it if i actually trust the developer because apple doesn't really trust this developer so it's uh, kind of protecting me by not allowing me to install the software on my computer so i can decide now to click on open anyway and then it will actually uh, allow me to now install visual studio code and that will be specific to visual studio code but if you want this to be a one-time solution for any application that you want to install on your macbook then we have to do that in the command line so what we can do basically is to open the command line too and then we need to do this as the super user so i need to type here system and privacy control so that will be spl ctl then i'll put a space dash dash master dash disable so basically saying just disable this feature i don't want to be prevented when i'm trying to install software on my macbook so i'm going to key in my password and if that is correct we should have it disabled and now if i get back to my desktop again and try to open this now it tells me that you're trying to open visual studio code which was downloaded from the internet do you really want to open it i would say go ahead and open it and right here i have the application installed on my computer so if you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get updates once i upload new videos